fired up and, and ready to go myself because I voted for my husband yesterday. So that means that right now we are one vote closer to re-electing my husband and moving this country forward for four more years. Everybody should have a fair shot, and everybody should do their fair share, and everybody should play by the same rules, because that's how we built the world's greatest middle class. And I want to fight for them. That's what I've been doing for the last four years, because if they succeed, I believe the country succeeds. Oh, really? How are you? How about Barack Obama last night? Governor Romney was asked a direct question about equal pay. He started talking about binders. So, the idea he had to go and ask where a qualified woman was, he didn't need a binder. I love you, Mariah. I love you back. I appreciate you. I've got two daughters. I don't want them paid less than a man for doing the same job. So this isn't just a women's issue, this is a family issue. This is a middle class issue. I weighed on it because that was the first bill that I signed, the Lilly Ledbetter Fair Pay Act, to make it easier for women to enforce their rights to get equal pay for equal work. Snacks. You guys need a snack? Is everybody all right? We're playing board games. All right, fair enough. Hello, sir. What's going on, man? I'm doing well. Can How I ask you a question? Yes, please. Why, why is the board games uh, under lock? You don't know, steal no, your you board. You have no sir. idea the kind of riffraff that inhabits this green room. This is. You think you kind of leave them out there for just people to play with? You would think. That. You would think we could leave them out and it would be fine, <laughs> but it's not. It's not. How are you holding up? I'm doing great. The choice between going backward and moving forward has never been so clear. But now that we're 18 days out from the election, Mr. Severely Conservative wants you to think he was severely kidding about everything he said over the last year. He, he's forgetting what his own positions are, and he's betting that you will too. We gotta name this condition that he's going through. I think it's called Romnesia. That's what it's called. If you come down with a case of Romney, <laughs> and you can't seem to remember the promises you've made over the six years you've been running for president, here's the good news. Obamacare covers pre-existing conditions. We can fix you up. We've got a cure. We've been through tough times, but we always bounce back because of our character, because we pull together. And if I have the privilege of being your president for another four years, I promise you, I will always listen to your voices. I will fight for your families. And I will work every single day to make sure that America continues to be the greatest nation on earth.